To my young friends at the Human Rights by the Youths, I would like to first of all congratulate each one of you. Though being very young, you have taken a very difficult task in your hand because human right violation, wherever it happens, it is advocated and also violation is done by the powerful person, the powerful body, or at times, in the case of Tibet, a very, very powerful government. So therefore, the challenge is tough. But humans have to care for other humans. So therefore, as human beings, it is our responsibility to help each other to live as humans, to have basic human rights. And there are many places in the world today where violation of human rights is being done. It is not only Tibet. But as a Tibetan, I can tell you about the case of Tibet. Today, Tibet is going through the most difficult period in our struggle. We are fighting for justice, for truth, and for human rights and democracy, but non-violence. It's very difficult sometimes, very difficult, especially with a government like the People's Republic of China, where they do not allow freedom of thought, freedom of expression, and also freedom of belief. Therefore, I would tell the young people who are working with the human rights groups, you have to be honest, you have to be truth, and you must investigate and know the truth for that. Any government, any individual should cooperate with you. From the Tibetan side, we are open. And therefore, now it is the time for the Chinese government to open Tibet to the human rights groups and to the media to know the reality inside Tibet and to improve and change the condition inside Tibet so that people can live as humans with freedom and dignity.